Hi, welcome to Christie's Stampin' Spot. So, there's so much fun things to um, to show you guys. Um, first, I just do my, my little advertisement that if you order from me in the month of March, um, I'm actually, um, if you do a, a $50 order, um, I'll send you a free pack of pearls or rhinestones. And... Um, you get, and for every $25, which is the, a heart that you earn, um, you can get a chance to um, <clears throat> win my little uh, lady, the ladybug hostess set, and it's matching uh, dyes. So, so that's pretty cool. And also because March is our um, it's our seventh anniversary of Paper Pumpkin. For everyone who orders from Paper Pumpkin for me, I will also get an entry into winning the Ladybug dies and um, stamp set. So if you haven't tried Paper Pumpkin, this would be a fantastic time to try it. It's only $22 and it, it includes everything that you need to make the projects in this one little box, which is pretty fabulous. And your first kit also even comes with a block so um, to, to mount your stamps on, um, which is super easy. And it comes with um, a stamp set, an ink pad, or an ink spot, and um, the little ink spot, which are pretty awesome. And then everything you need, even adhesive. So the only thing that you could possibly need that you don't, that doesn't come with the kit is a pair of scissors. Um, but because it is March 7th, uh, our seventh anniversary in March, you actually, also get an extra stamp set so you get two free stamp sets in March so it's an even extra value for the same $22 so super awesome it makes 12 cards it's a gorgeous set so fabulous comes in this really pretty box um, usually our paper pumpkin boxes are those adorable little orange boxes but we have a specialty box this month so that's exciting so if you're interested in getting that also if you order um, if you want to get three months or um, six months or a year which i just actually got my year um you can also qualify you can buy those in my online store there's extra savings when you do it that way and you can earn free celebration products which is pretty awesome because our cell this is the last month of our celebration um and we still have a bunch of stuff Ooh, they just released a bunch of new um items our golden honey specialty design series paper did sell out as well as our kerchief um, card kit and metallic baker's twine but all the other things are still available and of course also during celebration we always have a fabulous if you join special um this month uh, for this celebration you can get this super cute little mini cutter it really is totes adorbs i mean it is so adorable this little mini cutter so cute and you can only get it if you join stamp it up and um <clears throat> you also get a pack of um dsp so a six by six pack of an assortment of dsp and another free a free choice of a stamp set so you get all of that and that's on top of the 125 dollars worth of product for only 99 dollars. so when you join stampin up it really is the best deal when you get the starter kit and i'd love to have you on my um stampin lovelies team so if that's something that you're interested in or if you have a huge um wish list and you want to purchase product at a discount you know being a happy shopper and joining stampin up is a great way to get that discount and also one of the perks of being a demonstrator is you get to see product early and so um this month we have the ornate garden suite now this is actually a sneak peek of what's going to be in our annual a new annual catalog the 20 2021 20, catalog that starts in june and um so this will be in that in that catalog but also customers can get a chance to get it in april on april 1st but if you are like me and you don't want to wait you can get it now and um it, the the suite has so much gorgeous we're actually going to play with it today but um this is just something that that demonstrators can pre-order now and like i said um customers can get it april 1st and then don't forget our coordination release products are going on now and these will go away um march 31st so we have the nature's thoughts dies which i absolutely love that goes with the positive thoughts um stamp set that's in the mini catalog as well as the um special someone which is the one with the raccoon the the um dies special day dies that goes with that and that's also in the mini catalog and then the ladybug dies and that goes with the ladybug host set that's what's um my uh you can uh earn a a ticket to win that for me and then we also have the 
Sending Flowers dies, which is a really awesome, especially if you love shaker cards, it's a really great one um, that goes with our word set and a great little labels to cut them out. It's fabulous, those dies. And um, of course, the birthday dies. I love this birthday set. I made a ton of cards with it. It matched last um, month's February's uh, paper pumpkin kit. It was so fabulous. And so you can get the dies. And that's the cake stand. Um, and it cuts out extra flowers. It's so awesome. And then, of course, the P Pleases Punch DSP, which matches um, four of our punches. The small bloom punch that's actually you can earn when celebration. Um, the Umbrella Builder Punch. The Heart Punch Pack. And the Tulip Builder Punch. So that's pretty awesome. And those are gorgeous spring colors. So um, don't forget about these because these go away March 31st. So... Um, only a little bit more time left on getting those. Of course, this is our fabulous. So um, one sad thing is Stampin' Up! is also being um, affected by the coronavirus and delays coming from China. Some of our dyes. So you will see some back orders. Um, we'll try to keep you abreast of that. And Stampin' Up! is trying to get as much as we can get back in. Um, but there are some ordering delays uh, due to, you know, shipping and stuff. Sadly, that, that's what happens. So, oh my goodness. I love, love, love this new set. So we're going to actually use the Ornate Thanks today to make a quick and beautiful thank you card. Sometimes you need a card really super quick. Man, this set really comes in. So I love this, um, the Ornate Thanks. It has these really fabulous script uh, little add-ons. So super cute. Oh my gosh, I totally love it. Um, also in this suite is the Ornate Style, which is this beautiful, um, this the beautiful floral and the daisies. Oh my goodness. If you guys saw, I posted um, this card earlier and I just colored them. And it's funny, as I posted this one, thinking this was mint macaron, this is actually a pool party, if you can see the difference. So I actually had an, uh, a stowaway piece of pool party that was in my mint macaron stash, and when I pulled it out, I didn't even realize um, that this was actually a pool party instead of the mint macaron. But you can see it still looks gorgeous with the, mint mac the pool party, and then there's the mint macaron. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I just love. And I colored these with the blonde blends, except for the terracotta tile. I actually used the Stampin' Light marker for that, which is so pretty. So this is a gorgeous stamp set. And then they, of course, come in bundles. And so um, this is the Ornate Layers, which I'm actually going to use today. Isn't this beautiful? We're actually going to use this one right here, which is super fabulous. And what I really love is that the um, our Stitch Rectangle set match so nice so i've used it um on two cards so far to make the the borders we actually the, the stitch rectangles fit really nice inside of these which is pretty exciting i was very excited that that worked and then the other one is the ornate borders and aren't these beautiful so this just makes like a sprig and then these are like the borders and this one you can have it so it it only cuts out an edge but if you want both edges cut out it has this piece that will cut out that other edge. And then we have these two different little edges, which is super cute. And extra flowers, of course. So those are awesome. And like I said, this is the set, the suite that you can get now as a demonstrator. Um, but you can, uh, customers can get it starting April 1st. Okay, so today's card, this is going to be today's card. Isn't these daisies gorgeous? Oh, love, love, love. So this DSP is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the piece that we're going to use today. And also look at this. Oh, so pretty. Look how gorgeous. And now this is specialty designer series paper. It's the or, um, Ornate Garden DSP. Let me pull it all out so you can see. And what's fun about this is that it does have a sneak peek of one of our new ink colors called Bumblebee. Look at the gold. Oh, so pretty. There's This is one that we're using today. And the back piece has got this pretty terracotta tile on the back. And then these remind me of Holly Hobby. I'm not sure why. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? And then look at that gorgeous gold. Can you guys see that gorgeous gold floral? So pretty. And the blue one too. I don't know if I think I might have used all my blue. And this is pretty too. Look at that. And then it has gold on the mint macaron. Which is pretty. And then these gorgeous. Look at these big daisies. So they have two different sizes of these daisies. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh! love 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 and then these daisies have um gold foiling on the back so it's a beautiful pack of paper oh no this is the one i used so super pretty super pretty love 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 all this dsp 
And I'm like allergic to daisies. And I actually had some lovely person bring, um, get me some, uh, thank you, Joni, some daisies, correct, chrysanthemums for my birthday in a pot of plant. And I thought maybe I wasn't allergic because I'm usually really allergic to the ones that are, um, you can get, you know, at, at the stores, at the grocery stores. I'm usually allergic to the mold that can grow on that. But now, after about a, a couple hours, I was starting to be all congested, so I know I can't even do the pot of plants, and I love them so much. But, so now I can have the pretty daisies and flowers on my guards. Okay, so we're going to start with a mint macaron. Um, card base and I did check to make sure that was was my camp macaron I'm gonna check it probably for a long time because I can't believe I mixed it up at the pool party so our um, regular card stock um, you can get some of it in 12 by 12 we have some assorted packs but um, I usually buy the paper packs that are eight and a half by eleven which come like this eight and a half by eleven is our normal size it comes in a pack and so when I make my card bases I usually cut it in two ways I either cut it um, at a quarter, uh, four and a quarter long ways, like this way, or you can cut it at the, um, five and a half. So the other way, the opposite way, like this card here, um, I, I've cut the day and a half by 11 at five and a half, and then you score it at four and a half. So it's, it's eight by four, um, this is the five and a half, and then this is the four and the quarter. So this is 11, and then this is five and a half at four and a half. So those are kind of how I cut up my regular cardstock that I use. And you know, it's interesting is for the longest time, I only put everything on white. And now I want to put everything on colored cardstock. It's funny how you, you change a little bit as you, um, the more you stamp. So I've started with the, the Mint Macron base, and I, again, I'll have all the measurements on my um, blog because I'm really terrible at measurements, I know. <laughs> and we're going to just do some simple layering. So I actually um, did a lovely terracotta tile um, panel that is um, only, you know, it's only an eighth down. So that it'll nice with a little bit of the mint border, um, mint Macron border will show through. And then, of course, this one is at four and um five and a quarter so it'll fit on there just like that so that's a super simple so we're just going to layer that together and then i'm going to wrap it with some macron this beautiful and this is in i believe this is in the annual catalog and so we have a couple of lovely mint macron um ribbons there's a really thin one that's with the the best dress in the mini catalog and this is actually the textile ribbon um isn't that beautiful? But it's also that Mick Chrome, so it's cool that we have a bunch that'll match these colors. And the ribbons that came with this set is actually this fabulous um, terracotta tile and old olive. So that's really lovely. Um, but we're going to use this beautiful Mint Macron, which is awesome. I love that because sometimes our ribbons go out, so it's awesome when um, more than one ribbon will match. And then if you guys see, I'm not sure if it's this dark color or if it's this lighter color that match it. That's the new in color, the Bumblebee. So I'm excited to see what that is. I can't wait. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for my panels. Super easy, super simple. I'm going to add some um, Wincastella. And then I did use my fabulous ornate frames and I put it away already, didn't I? I'm not showing you guys. So this one right here, and I went ahead and um, cut it out because it does, I have to say out of all of the, the, of the frames, um, although my um, precision plate is getting pretty kind of old, I almost need a new one. So I had to run it several times and move it around um, on my uh, precision plate to get a good, um, a good cut so you can tell when after you run it through if you turn it over if you can see if the cuts all the way through if it is then you can you know make, then you can pop it out but don't don't pop it out until you make sure um, I think you can use like run it with wax paper to help it get these out um, we also have this fabulous little brush that will hook on to your um, screws right on top to your pick a tool your take a pick tool which is pretty awesome although I found that for these the easiest was I just used the paper piercer and poked it out so it's a little um, labor intensive but oh my gosh it's so gorgeous so gorgeous so worth it so yeah so this is what it looks like this is how it is in white 
let's see if I put it against the terracotta tile. You can see it. Can you guys see how there's all these little pieces? And so it took a lot. They're like really wanting to be in there. Um, when I used the bigger frame, it was much easier to get them out. I don't know why. But again, we, it's pretty moist here, which is unusual for Arizona. We're getting a lot of rain. We have um, a lot more rain than usual. And um, so everything is a little bit more moist. My, my, my chamois stay moist a lot longer, which is nice. But then some, some, sometimes other things stick. Anyway, okay. So um, I also cut out with the rectangles. Like I mentioned, our stitch rectangles work really well with um, these new ornate frames. And so I just cut out, this is, oops, and I just dropped it as it bounced. Pardon me. Um, the, this is the small, one of the smaller ones. I don't know if it is the smallest one, but it cuts out this lovely white. So I just cut that out of white and we're going to stamp with terracotta tile and the thanks. So I just used um, the big thanks that's in this set right here. It fits perfect. I'm just going to ink that up with terracotta tile. Make sure I'm on camera. There we go. Oh, so pretty. I love that terracotta tile. And, um, very nice. Okay. And then we have... Um, so for this, I'm going to actually put it up on Stampin' Dimensionals. And I have one right here. So I'm going to put three on because it's just a little bit longer than normal. Like that. Get my little papers. And look at that. It just fits so nice right here in the middle. Isn't that lovely? It's so nice. Yay. Okay. So let's go ahead. Um, and that's all I need to stamp for the front. Like that's super quick. So I'm going to glue these on. So I got my glue, the multi-purpose glue. I love this multi-purpose glue. Although it does get my hands a little sticky sometimes, but it gives you a little bit of time to get it nice. And even on oh, that beautiful this paper is so gorgeous and then I'm going to before I glue it down to the other panel I'm going to get out my Winkastella and I've got two up here one of them's got more in it than the other this one's got a lot add Winkastella just to the centers of my daisies I think they're called like I think these look like Shasta daisies. They're so pretty. Love, love, love my Winkastella though. Although this is really pretty matte coloring. Um, but just adding this is like the bling I'm gonna really add. I'm gonna add some of the new gold the gold gems, but for sparkle, this is my sparkle. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my um, the mint macron. So you can wrap your um the whole thing but I always like to save a little bit on my ribbon so I'm just gonna cut you know a little bit wider than my card front and then I'm just gonna turn it over I'm just gonna use my Tombow my snail just like that and put it around you know, it's about the right side, the right height. So it's not in the middle, it's like the bottom quarter, right? If you're gonna do it in fourths like the edge, that's about right. Like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put little snail on top of the, where the ribbon is. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna snail the rest of the this card front and add it with my snail. I usually just use glue, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use the snail since I have it right there. That right stick that on there just like that <gasps> Muy bien. okay and then I'm just gonna add stamp and dimensionals to this now I think actually my best for this would be to 
I do with my snap, my snips. Is I'm actually going to cut the edge. So you see how this lovely edge of my stamp of dimensionals. I'm going to because I don't want it to be a full, oops, a full thing. Because I want it to, it's gonna the ribbon's gonna go in between it. So this helps it get it, it keep it um, not as wide. If I did the full. Set. So it's like cutting a, it's like cutting it on in half. But now I've added a little bit of extra because it goes long, right? Because this has got a little bit of a long bar. So I love these. Use every piece of your um, Stampin' Dimensionals. Like that. Put these away so I don't stick myself with them. And then I'm going to pull this off. So I'm not putting one in the middle because um, my ribbon's going to be there. Although this isn't a super thick ribbon. Especially if you have a super thick ribbon, you want to make sure you leave a space for it. But I find that it just lays so much better. And then there's kind of a center. And I'm going to just center it right over here. But it's off center like that. So you see how it's centered on this point. But it's... On the card front, there's more on the side because that's where we're going to put our little bitty bow. I love little bows. I've been making all these tiny, tiny bows lately. So I'll try to do it first on my... So I'm just going to take that same ribbon. Let's try it a little bit. Just... I'm gonna get little tiny so that it fits. Make it tight. Oh, super cute. Okay, let me take my scissors. Now I use these ribbon scissors that Stampin' Up! used to sell. I want them to come back with them because they're so fabulous. And, um, but you can use any really good fabric scissors. I don't use them for paper. I use my paper snips for paper. I just use those ones for ribbon. I'm sure you guys do that, especially if you're a crafter and do fabric. You know, there's like 15 different kinds of scissors that you use so they don't dull. Okay, that's super cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then you're just going to use a glue, glue dot. And attach it right here to the edge just like that <laughs> that's super cute and then the bling that we're gonna add is this fabulous new the Gl gilded gems which are super cute oh hi Glenda hi Karen love love okay and they're, luckily the, these are the new ones can you guys see them so they're very similar to like the ones that came with the heart punch pack um, that were like opaque and um, and red um, so they're like faceted like that but they're gold and I really love that they come in three different sizes and we're going to just use the small ones today and I'm going to actually have to take off my this piece and put this piece back on because get my gems so I usually use my um the paper piercer to kind of knock it loose a little and then it's easy to pick right up and then I'm just going to place it right here in the corner so look, that one came off and I didn't even need to use this to be end that one I did so so nice there we go muy bien so that's it look at that isn't that gorgeous for the front so simple so easy these these this paper is so beautiful you don't want to put too much on it so you want to let it do most of the work but I, of course, um, don't like it to be naked, even on the back. So I'm going to put the thanks on the back. I just put my hand like that. I just put my hand in the, um, like I have my chamois, luckily, and it's all, comes right off. Yay! Love my chamois. Um, so that it will 
so in case you actually put your hand in your ink pad like I just did. And then I cut up two little strips while I'm making that. So they're like um, about a half an inch or half, yeah, half quarter. I think it's more than a quarter. It's half. They're really tiny. I'll have the measurements on the back, but I just add just this little bit of cardstock. So I never throw away any of my um, pieces because it really pulls the theme through and finishes the card. Did you think? Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then of course we need an inside layer. And I always cut mine at, um, it's four, no, it's five and one eighth, five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. And of course I'll have it again on the, um, on my blog. And I'm going to put on the inside, we have all these little fabulous script things. Um, you know, the thanks from the bottom of my heart. Um, I just wanted, uh, you made my day. So here's a card. You're amazing. And I picked so, um, to say ever so much. So, oh my gosh, I just love this set. It's so fantastic. So make sure I have it the right way before I stamp it onto my cardstock. Just like that. Clean that up before I get that stuff on me. And then I need my little strip. And I cut these at four because that's usually what I cut my um, uh, my card base front is. And so I don't trim it down. So it hangs off the white just a little bit. If you don't like that, you can always, um, after you put it on, you can just snip it also. Or when you're, when you're making it, you can cut it smaller. I kind of like that it hangs over the edge a little bit. So, add some glue to the back. Of course, you could use um, your snail. Just have my glue in hand. I like the glue, especially for the smaller, for the um, putting on the smaller um, little pieces, because the snail and it it does have a definite width, right? So, it's this width. So, if you're doing anything that's more than that, you know, that's smaller than that width, you don't want to have extra glue. So that's why I like to use. I got really used to using my liquid glue but there you go isn't that super sweet it's fabulous this is a great oh it's so pretty so pretty I love how delicate this looks so pretty and I love the little the little ribbon and then of course we do have the tiny ribbon too that I could have used but um so cute love 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 so i hope you guys enjoyed today's um ornate garden card with the um ornate garden um suite like i said i use the ornate thanks stamp set and um the ornate layers for this and then this one is from is the stitch rectangles so um super easy card super adorable and you can get the ornate garden stuff now as a demonstrator and then starting april 1st as a customer so I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and if you guys need anything you can go to um, my online store and use the March host code and you can um, with every $25 so if you do 50 you get two entries uh, to win the ladybugs um, the stamp set and the dies that match and then of course a $50 order not only will you get a celebration item but I'll send you a free pack of rhinestones or pearls depending on I'll just randomly pick those but so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day oh and don't forget to order the March get on and get that March um, I'm telling you the paper pumpkin kits are awesome and the March kits gonna have an even it's gonna be even more awesome because it has an extra set there'll be two stamp sets in it so that's you know a great deal for $22 plus all the consumables like it's a fabulous deal but anyway okay well I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and happy crafting bye